All right, fight fans, the main event on the zone is over with. It was the problem child, Jake Paul against Andre August. It was Jake Paul by a brutal first round knockout. Let me start with my pros and my cons. Let me start with uh, Andre August. He was willing to get into the, his pros would be he was willing to get into the ring with another man and exchange leather. He he seemed that he wanted to maybe be a counter puncher because he did land a good counter right hand. As for the cons, he was flat footed, standing right in front of Jake Paul, who we all know has heavy hands. As for Jake Paul, the pros would be uh, the young man is is more polished. This fight, I didn't. I'm not saying I knew it was a first round knockout, but I knew that he would knock this guy out the first round. Jake Paul was very patient. He was dipping in the knees and he was throwing the double jab. He did not really do that in, in his other eight fights. I felt that he left something to be desired in those fights. He still looked kind of sloppy, but of course you can expect that from a guy who's only been boxing for three years. I like the fact that he is starting to look more polished, and it seems that every month he's beginning to take boxing more serious. As for the cons, I, I can't give him anything. This fight didn't go long enough to give him any cons. Let's talk about the one round. Jake Paul comes out very patient. Not throwing wild shots. He was very calm. As I mentioned in my pros, he was dipping at his knees. He showed good upper body movement. He was using feints and he was using the double jab. And it was the jab that set up that brutal right uppercut that got Andre August out of there. He didn't see the shot coming. When he threw the jab, it was like Thomas Hearns used to do. Thomas Hearns would Thomas Hearns would throw the, the jab to the opposite eye. And then he will always immediate follow it with a right hand. And he would do that because you couldn't see the shot coming. And that's what happened. Andre August just did not see the shot coming. And yes, he, he was hurt. If you saw the way that his neck snapped back, that, that man was hurt. When he got up, he was still dazed. I, I may have mentioned this in videos before, but it reminds me of when Roy Jones knocked out Montel Griffin in the second fight. And George Foreman, who was commentating at ringside, said, when you get hit with shots like that, when your neck snaps back that fast, it's no reason to try to get up. Just live to fight another day. Don't try to get up and show how tough you are. Just stay down, take the count, and fight another day. And that's what happened when Andre August, the referee, did the right thing by not allowing him to continue. So let's talk about what happens from, uh, from here. Jake Paul is talking about... You know, he, you know, wants to fight bigger names. But I've said this before about this kid. He is now, if I'm not mistaken, eight and one. So that's nine fights. I've been telling people that he needs to get to at least 20 fights before he talks about fighting anyone serious. And by someone serious, I'm not even talking about someone in the top 10. I'm just saying someone serious. He even said, you know, after the fight that he, he's still a prospect and he needs to fight more prospects. That's what I would say. I'm going to just let this thing be what it is. I, I don't really see Jake Paul being a top five fighter one day. He could prove me wrong by the time he's 31, five years from now, and he could be just that. But I do think that he can have a decent boxing career. He just needs to fight more prospects. In my opinion, he needs 10, 11 more prospects. Then you can kind of put him in there with somebody who can give him more of a challenge. Like I said, not a top 15 guy, but somebody who can give him somewhat of a challenge, whether that's at cruiserweight or light heavyweight. Anyway, fight fans, did you enjoy the fight? Did you think that Jake Paul would knock this guy out or did you think that it would go the distance? And what would you like to see him do from here? To be honest, I have no idea. That's why I'm asking you. What would you like to see him do from here? If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can keep talking boxing. Other than that, that's all I got. I'll let y'all later.